morning, Insiders. Happy Monday. Hope your week is off to a good start. Uh, just getting back from camping, and I'll probably send an email or something out, or I'll post some pictures to Facebook. That's what I do. And by the way, if you're not my friend on Facebook and you're part of our network, jump on over there. Give me a friend request. You can keep track of what's going on uh, and check out the awesome pictures and stuff from uh, our camping trip. So anyway, um, let's jump in. I don't have a ton today. It's not going to be a really long video, uh, but it's important stuff. Let's, we're going to talk today about a new policy, or at least newer to us, um, that U.S. Bank dropped on us a week or so ago, uh, 90 days minimum marketing. And we don't do a ton of files with U.S. Bank, but we consistently have stuff with them. So it's new in the last few months as far as we're, we've been informed. Um, and here's the basics of it. U.S. Bank has said that they're not going to approve any offers until they've had a minimum of 90 days on the market of the property. Um, so, the, the interesting thing is, in the particular situation that, we were, that we're in right now, is they're saying that they start the 90 days when they actually get the offer from us, which is pretty ridiculous. I mean, why in the world would you say, we want 90 days of marketing, but not even start the 90 days until you get an offer. It could have been 90 days before you even got that offer. Um, I guess perhaps if and we're still in the midst of clarifying that right now, we're actually arguing that 90 days starts when the property went active on the MLS. So we're putting that together and we're arguing that with U.S. Bank right now. But I guess from their perspective, maybe they're thinking, well, if you didn't have a good price point and you were just marketing it really high for 90 days and then you did a really quick drop um, on the price point, or something like that, that they want to have three months worth of marketing at whatever that price point is to get the highest and best offer. So that's another thing that you should be paying attention to. On the U.S. Bank First Mortgage Files, you should be um, advising your seller that U.S. Bank is going to want a situation where the buyer can accept multiple offers because, again, depending on your agreement between buyer and seller, some buyers um, are saying, hey, I don't want you to accept any other offers. I want to be the one that's presented to the bank and we're under mutual contract and no other offers can come in. And there's other ways that you can structure your contract so that it does allow you to get other buyers to come in. It does make it a weaker transaction where the uh, usually the buyer that's giving you that ability then also has the right to look for other properties and walk away at any time. So there's, a, there's good and bad to both. Um, so pay attention to that piece if you have a U.S. Bank first mortgage. you got to know who your mortgages are. And this is another reason why I recommend when you, if you haven't worked with a particular um, lender recently, that you call into the office and say, hey, I've got a short sale that I'm getting ready to list. It's got here are the lenders that are on the property. Here's the details about the situation. We'll let you do a conference call with Aaron. Let Aaron get on the phone with you and have a strategy time where you're actually talking about your property, the lenders on the title, and what's going to be the best way to approach it. Because certain lenders are going to have certain weird oddities in their requirements, and that therefore is going to mean that certain buyers are going to be necessary. If it's U.S. Bank, there's going to be certain marketing requirements. So take advantage of us in that way. If we're negotiating your short sale and you're part of our network, we'll give you all. You know, we'll strategize with you because we want you to succeed because your success is our success. So. Um, Here's a couple of thoughts that you should bring to the transaction when there's U.S. Bank. Number one, you want to position the buyers depending on where you are in your marketing process. So if you've been marketing the property for 30 days and you get an offer and U.S. Bank is the first mortgage, then you need to let the buyer know, hey, this is great. I'm going to send this into the bank just so you know. They're not going to make a decision for two months. Just doesn't even matter. They're just going to sit there and they're going to wait for two months and see if any other offers come in. So that buyer may be not very excited about doing that, or that buyer may not care because they're going to be out looking for other houses. If they find a better deal, they'll walk away. Um, I'm thinking that this policy is going to have some revisions at U.S. Bank shortly because it doesn't make any sense to me. They're, they're slowing a, an already slow process down, and um, they're making it so that buyers have very little motivation to even stick around through the process. Who wants to put an offer in on a house and wait two months before they get an answer purposely. Like even though we might have an answer today, we're just not going to answer you until we know that there's no other offers. Um, number two, just work your site price slowly. Um, 
you're already starting. Usually you're starting where you have reasonable comps, but we don't always get an offer at that point. So, you know, don't drop it really fast. Maybe take a little extra time between your price drops. Work your way down to that Excite price system um, a little more slowly, burning up a little bit more of those days on market so that when you do get an offer, maybe you're only 30 days away from that 90 day mark. Um, so utilize those kind of things. And then the third thing I want to say is watch for your auction de details, the foreclosure auction. Just because they say they need 30 days marketing, if you're, or sorry, 90 days marketing, if you're 30 days away from foreclosure auction, send an offer and we'll we'll argue that with them. Hey, you can't, you can't wait 90 days unless you're going to postpone the foreclosure auction for 120. Um, make up your mind here. You can't do both. But don't just sit on it and keep your price at a point where you're not getting offers because you need 90 days marketing, and um, but you're not getting an offer, and now you're going to go to have it go to foreclosure auction. So okay, keep all those things in mind. Pay attention to it as things in, unveil here that uh, continue to give us enlightenment around what U.S. Bank is thinking and how we can best work within their rules. We'll let you know that. Um, if you have a U.S. Bank file right now, why don't you call into the office and we can talk about it and make sure you really understand how it applies and how you're going to need to disclose things to the different uh, parties to the transaction. So uh, anyway, it's good to be back and uh, I will see you, talk to you soon. If you have any questions, send me an email uh, or give us a phone call at the office. They'll patch it through to me and um, we can chat a little bit. We love to strategize with our agents. It's uh, one of the services that we offer. Uh, but it also makes the transactions go a lot smoother. So um, give us a call uh, and we'll talk to you soon. Have a great one. Bye.